in front of you now is a small group of such colonists. They have been trudging along hot, dirty roads for days and have come to San Jacinto on their way to Louisiana and safety. There they will camp for the night. After Santa Ana entered Texas, a group of Texians met in convention at Washington on the Brazos near present-day Sarasota. They declared independence on March 2nd. The first contact between Houston and Santa Ana is between the cavalry. After a brief skirmish on the road from to Washington, the Texans under Colonel Sidney Sherman temporarily delayed the Mexican advance and then arrived to the Texan camp to warn Houston that Santa Ana is coming. When Santa Ana surveys the situation, all he can see are two cannons at the edge of the forest because Houston keeps most of his army hidden. These cannons are the famous twin sisters, two six-pounders that are gifts from the people of Cincinnati, Ohio. Santa Ana orders Colonel Delgado to advance the only cannon that he has with him, a nine-pounder called the Gold Standard.
devastating and mind blowing attacks since in the zone. Back and forth across the open plain. Swirl around each other as each man tries to get a little bit of muskets. The fight renews as the Mexican cavalry counterattack. During the fray, Private Jerbo Lamar, in an act of heroism, saves the life of Walter Lane, who is dismounted in the fight. A slightly body Irishman will you come to bar. Peter's men will raise the battle cry, remember the Alamo. And then I realized my coding. Houston, Fire! 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 Fire!
Presidente de México. General Houston, I do not require a translator, but I will instead negotiate terms in your language. I am Antonio López de Saldana, Presidente de México, Commander in Chief of Army of Operations. General Houston, you, and now it remains for you to be generous to the vanquished. You should have remembered that at the Alamo. I summoned them to surrender. They refused. The Alamo was taken by storm. The usages of war justified what I did. I was acting under the orders of my government. Why, you surrender. Houston sent Jeff Smith to General Phyllis Olo's camp to deliver Santana's dispatch. He also sent a dispatch to the Texas government, reporting his victory in Sucino Devilstone under the command of Captain Ross, and Houston turned over custody to Santa Ana. It was embarrassing. Inflamed, discolored, and painful. He said it was imperative to get Houston to New Orleans for treatment. Too weak to stand, Houston wrote his farewell address and had it delivered as an order. The next day, the government had refused permission for him to sail on the Yellowstone. Dr. Ewing made a formal application and passed away on the battlefield. It is fitting that he is buried almost within the shadow of the monument just north of here. A few weeks after this reenactment in 2001, we lost John Bryant to a virulent viral infection. Doug and John were among the top of the living historians in Washington. I hope you'll all join us again next year at San Jacinto Bay. Dennis Hackathorn. Dennis, how do you spell your last name? H E C K A T H O R N E. How long have you been involved with this? Uh, since 1973. Is this more fun, or what do y'all do? <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I just uh, have a love for history and uh, and old guns. I like old guns and the old music. I'm one of the fifers in the Army. We've got the Texas Army Fife and Drum Corps, and we play at different events and schools and etc. And uh, who are you with? Uh, I do a lot of gunsmithing, antique gunsmithing. I built rifles. I repaired a couple of rifles for the Alamo. <clears throat> it took this long to load a gun. We wouldn't have all the drive bys today. With the <laughs> I'd rather, I'd rather have one shot and know the other guy had one shot, than have thirty shots and know the other guy has thirty shots. There's a couple of ways to look at that. <laughs> Tom Moss. Tom? Yes, sir. M-O-S-S? M-O-S-S. From Jefferson, long, Texas. How long have you been doing this? Been doing this since 1961, when the first centennial of the Confederate and the Union centennial, the War of Northern Aggression. And I uh, started getting into the Texas history back about uh, 10 years ago. So we do San Jacinto, we do uh, War of 1812, we do the Civil War, and I've done some World War II reenacting also. Don't laugh, just keep it doing it. Okay. Don't laugh. Yeah. Look at him. Small things and knives for anybody to step on.